Hello everyone, it's Red with RedDragonLeo.com. It is June the 5th, uh, 2011. We have uh, some serious technical damage that's been done to the market. I think we're going to continue down. We're looking here at the monthly chart, as you can clearly see, and it is rolling over. Uh, I think at this point you can draw a line here and say that we've got some negative divergence going on. and. Uh, and I think that uh, it's going to continue down and and this month will be ugly and next month too probably we have the possibility of going down to hit some of the fake prints that we've had over the uh, last year some of these major fake prints that we had were uh, we had a 106 on the spy which is about 1060 which would be right around in this, this area right here that was a serious downside fake print they're all listed on my blog there as well as uh, Flickr. I'll put the link up for that for you. We also have the Dow 8300 fake print as well as the 885 SPX fake print, which is right down here in this area. Now that could take several months for it to get down there, but uh, it's seriously looking like this is the end of uh, primary wave two up and we're getting ready to enter primary wave three down. I really at this point I, I think that that's what's happening uh, I think the gangsters have run out of money this whole pattern uh, is is called an MA pattern and it's extremely bearish we here's the left side of the M the center left and the bottom center and then the right center side and then the right side of the M so you can see a big M this here is the A this, the left side of the A as it goes down it goes an equal distance from here to here it starts here and you go down and it puts you here so it it, it drops it to two or three hundred or something like that on the, on the SPX uh, but again you know we have that um, that um, SPX pr or was it a spy print I had of 2016 yes 2016 I believe we'll see was the, that that would probably be in 2002 or, or 2012 I'm sorry or later who knows how long it's going to take to get down that low but let's get on with some short short term stuff you can clearly see on the weekly it is heading down here on the RSI and um, heading down quite sharply uh, is it going to bounce at this point probably I would hope that it would bounce at that point but I, I don't think it's going to hold I think it's going to go through it um, I think next week is definitely going to go down uh, and uh, the following week as well the June 11th period is this Saturday this coming Saturday and that is the date that could be um, that could be the Simpson clock uh, theory that we've all been trying to figure out the 6 and the 11 it's also an 11 an Illuminati favorite number so there could be something major happen over this coming weekend we don't know what it is but I think it's 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 going to go down this week certainly and then the following week could be the crash week we could wake up on Monday with a uh, black Monday Monday the 13th June 13th could be a black Monday we don't know we'll get to that point it's you know when we get there but uh, definitely this week the most I can see us doing is is moving back up um, for a maybe maybe a 50% retracement and I think if it does that it will do that on Monday and Tuesday we might not get that much we may only get a 38% fib level re retracement it's hard to say there's nothing bullish on this chart it is pointing down it tried to go up it failed and it is headed back down again as you can clearly see but it is pretty oversold that's why you should expect a bounce at least Monday Tuesday that's why uh, you can also look at the 60 minute chart here and see 60 minute chart is putting in some positive divergence on these as it works its way up it should work its way up and get up here into positive territory and and uh, at some point Monday Tuesday so I think it's possible we could run back up here and you know possibly back test this trend line it's possible uh, if you work it up that'd be draw the trend line down a little bit more that's about 1335 or something it's possible I don't really think it's going to get that high 
you might be better to draw a trend line from this old these old highs right here cut through that right there and maybe you only get to 1320 I'm not sure but uh, I do suspect a bounce Monday and Tuesday uh, and, and, and then later in the week Wednesday Thursday Friday I, I think we're going to uh, break down here and fall on down here towards this 1250 level that's what I'm looking for to happen uh, same thing here on the 30 you can see it's got support here but you know we should see uh, you know a 50% move out of this from here to here just a 50% move out of there puts you at about 1320 maybe 1322 somewhere in that area um, so that's possible but it's just a matter of timing if you're already short uh, you know I think you're going to be pretty safe I, I really do think we're going to head down here to this 1250 level before it's all said and done. Um, we had a lot of news come out, and one of the news is this story here. I wanted to go over this with you. Uh, ben Laden, Weekend at Ben Laden's, the old movie there, uh, Weekend at Bernie's, which was a good movie. I like that movie. It was funny. Uh, basically, this story was written by this guy. I don't know who he is, but um, he wrote the story, and I don't know how factual it is, but it certainly makes a lot of sense, ties a lot of loose ends together. It's basically stating that Bin Laden did die in a hospital in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in 2001 from kidney failure. Uh, and he was a, a CIA operative. Uh, his name was Tim Osmond. We, we've known that for a while. The issue with him dying and why they released it today is uh, because of the money that, that he took. He was getting money, according to this, from Bush and Clinton, the gangsters, the cabal. Uh, he was getting money from them to do their dirty deeds, uh, to start wars uh, or rebel you know, fights breakouts uh, whatever you you want to call it it's a mini war with that's undeclared basically and he did all this stuff back then uh, according to what they told him to do so he was their asset their buddy and uh, here is a picture of him as you can clearly see uh, and from the 1980s war with uh, Afghanistan and Russia and um, so there's Bin Laden right there. So he has been a, a friend of Bush and, and Clinton and Cheney this entire time. And they have not, uh, he's never been, he was never responsible for 9-11 and nothing to do with it. Uh, this was all, all made up. But anyway, he basically, Tim Osmond is his name again, he basically took the money that they were giving him to buy the weapons and whatever else that they needed to cause all the disasters uh, and, and violence over in that Middle Eastern area. But he also ran drugs with it and uh, heroin was his uh, big one, I guess, and he managed to make a bunch of money with it. According to this, it was trillions of dollars, not, not billions, but trillions of dollars. and he put this money in I guess an account and somehow it got frozen upon his death and it was not allowed to be released for 10 years well since he died in 2001 now it's officially released they have released that money now here's the thing the money is now uh, back in the hands of the gangsters Bush Clinton the cabal. They went and took this money and put it into the stock market through Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. And they did this Sunday night, May the 1st. Uh, his, his, a, a Sprint cell phone was hacked and so they, they discovered it on, this, on the hacked phone. And they did this at 419 Pacific Standard Time Sunday. So this was five hours before Obama got on TV basically and said uh, that they had killed uh, bin Laden. This basically allowed JP Morgan to save their hide because they were about to be liquidated 
if silver was to hit fifty dollars an ounce and of course it quickly dropped forty five dollars and forty in in forty seconds well we all know that silver is just massively crashed uh, that is a crash the stock market hasn't officially crashed but silver has definitely crashed so they took that money that some of this trillions of dollars put it into the stock market and shorted bought massive short positions to force silver back down so at this point it's my opinion that they have all this money heavily invested in shorting the market I can't think that the market is done selling at this point I think we are certainly going to go down to a minimum of 1250 on the SPX I think a lot lower I think we're headed down to the Dow 8300 fake print as well as the 885 SPX fake print this all leads up to Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan also being sacrificed because they are now under in indictment um, by the uh, New York uh, State um, Attorney's Office which I'll show you this the prosecutors have asked uh, uh, Goldman Sachs to explain their behavior and I think this is all staged of course but it's it's telling me that they are about to throw Goldman to the wolves and they're about ready to get rid of them and that would imply that the fake prints that we have on Goldman as well as JP Morgan will likely be hit as they bankrupt these companies they need a fall guy the crap is is getting too deep right now and they need to throw it somewhere and I think it's going to be uh, Goldman and JP Morgan when they put out those fake prints they were to send the signal that hey uh, these companies are going to be sacrificed I don't know if it's going to be this particular downturn or this crash in the market or the one we're going to have October 23rd I don't know the one on October 23rd is going to be massive it'll be a wave three of a wave three major wave three down a primary wave three down now this all also leads us to this guy the IMF head who um, Dominic Strauss Kahn who was basically set up for um, for for exposing to the I guess the uh, New York State Attorney's Office here that um, that the gold in Fort Knox is fake uh, he got this information apparently from a CIA um, uh, source who basically says he's got firm evidence that all this gold uh, is gone and so basically they have stolen all the gold replaced it with gold covered tungsten or something so um, this so they set him up because he ratted on him he basically ratted on him and told him out now whether or not this is planned or not I, I don't know seems awful coincidental that he, he does this but they maybe he's just trying to save his hide he's certainly a bad guy but uh, he you know these people are fighting among themselves right now the um, the cabal in, here in Washington DC with the Bush Clinton Cheney these gangsters um, you know along with Henry Kissinger and Rockefeller they're all fighting against each other and so it's hard to say for sure but somebody has already got it planned that they are going to sacrifice Goldman Sachs and by the fake Prince and uh, JP Morgan so they they're gonna have to so this this also implicates Goldman Sachs in here uh, I read it in here and somewhere I believe it talked about Goldman Sachs uh, either that or it was on another website I was looking at they were talking about Goldman Sachs but Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan so stuff is getting pretty pretty heated in the marketplace right now and they um, are definitely in my opinion going to take this market down further now this guy here says you know here comes QE3 well yeah I, I agree that will probably happen it won't be called QE3 but I don't think it's coming anytime soon. I think they've taken their, their billions, if not trillions of dollars, put it in the market in short positions that they are not uh, heavily long right now, and they are going to take this market down to a serious retracement level where they can buy it back up um, later on. 
and the the small amount that we have sold off so far is is chump change it's chump change it's not very much so I'm not expecting um, this to to bounce and go back up and hit a new high at this point uh, you know I, I don't see that happening maybe later on this year but I doubt it I really doubt it I think we're gonna have I think this is major wave one down and we're gonna and we're probably gonna go to the 8300 bounce and go up into October 23rd for major wave two up all in all inside of primary wave three down which I, at this point I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it started and um, and then after that uh, you know October 23rd then they'll yeah, that that's the next Legatus pilgrimage, which uh, in, in case you you know have forgotten, the um, basically here it is here on on Reinhardt site, the bailout may be switching to a Legatus debasement. Yes, I think it's crashing, and it was April the 30th, May this May the second was when they had this meeting. So all this you put this together, they had this meeting they had already determined that um, they were going to I guess take the money that they were that they stolen from uh, from from bin Laden and put it in a market short the market and bring it down so that, I guess that's what was discussed when these gangsters got together in this meeting and of course the next meeting is again October 23rd so that one should be the major one so um, it is definitely looking to me you read this it, it this this is a great uh, story I'll put the link on my blog as well for you to go and read this but it's a, a very interesting read um, clearly says that this was this is all part of the new world orders plan to sell off the stock market um, with this money and and keep you know keep themselves afloat for a while longer they, they're running out of money they've done stole all the gold so they stole this money so this is this is coming to an end and um, I, I I definitely think that uh, at this point when we when we look at the monthly I don't see us going up to that fake print on the the 138.86 buy at this point I mean it's we're, I think we're really going down hard and I really do think we're going down to over the next few months uh, going down to this uh, 885 major low on the SPX Dow 8 8300 uh, possibly a short term bounce would be that fake print of 106 on the SPY that we had last year it's a possible fake print uh, I mean it's a possible it's a possible a bouncing spot but so for now you know we just take it day by day and and the first Monday and Tuesday I'm just looking for a quick little bottom here on Monday and if it's not already bottom looks like it could have already bottom and I'm looking for you know at least an ABC move up you know up then back down maybe on Monday then back up again maybe on Tuesday get this thing in overbought territory and uh, then Wednesday Thursday Friday I'm looking for it to, to, to collapse and, and that's just this week and uh, maybe this week we end up hitting um, taking out this 1300 and going down here for this area possibly uh, it's hard to say but um, 1250 but the the week afterwards because of the 611 with the Simpson clock and everything all this is on the blog it's uh, it's it's likely they'll stage something some event uh, if it's going to be nuclear, I hope not, but they could stage that to happen on June the, the 11th. Um, and let's just hope it doesn't. But if it does, then you're going to wake up to a week like this, a big red week. We could have this week right here, this week, very easily. And, you know, 1250. 1250 is the major support. You could run up a little bit and have a nice big red week. It could look just like this one here and then this one here that is the following week as we crash so that's what I got uh, that's what I kind of think is going to happen uh, but uh, uh, can't think of anything else I've been reading these stories so I'm just putting the links up for you guys on the blog to uh, go to them and, and read them instead of copying the whole thing 
it's easier to do it that way so good luck everyone and I will see you on the blog